Okay, Bishop H6 and Knight F3 looks very good. Let me make sure this isn't bad. Knight G5. Yeah, just Knight, knight G5 and takes. And this must be win. Must be winning, I would assume. If it's not winning, I... Oh, did I just blunder again? Thank you to Binding of Vector for the 9. Thank you to Heat Miser for the 28. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, let's play E6, D5. Keep it pretty, pretty simple here, I guess. No pineapple on his shirts? Not right now, no. So E4. Um, I'm going to play this line, which I know is dubious, but I'm going to play it anyway. <clears throat> I could have played D5, and it leads to a draw, but I don't really want to play like that right now. Let's go here and take with the Knight. Thank you to Jay Nibbles for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Jay Nibbles. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Can we get a Dutch? I could try to play a Dutch, sure. Uh, let's develop the bishop, maybe knight c6 next move. Thank you to a -Ret ZZ for the eight months. Thank you so much. I'm crazy or Mr. Block just closed the stream. Oh, did did uh was Benjamin streaming? How do I play this exactly? I don't like my position. I'm gonna rotate my knight to g6, maybe. Let's just take. Let's go knight g6. I don't know if I love my positions. Thank you, Tree Broker, for the nine. Did the lemons arrive yet? No, I'm gonna take care of that later today. Uh, maybe I'll do it on stream if I log out of um if if I once I log out of uh Amazon. I can play d6 here. Don't love it, but I'm gonna play it. Wait, where is his bed? My bed vanished, you guys, magically. Magically it vanished. Um, so I play some blitz, blitz to start. Uh D actually I missed a D5. That's a problem. Thank you, Massive Blood for the gifted sub. Can take and take, maybe, but I, I don't want I'm gonna go here in Queen F6. Hit the pawn, guard the pawn. If E7, I can always take or go rook F7, maybe. It looks very dubious, but we're going to try to survive. 24-hour stream? Um, No, not not today. His knight d5, but I guess I just take. It's a very weird position here. I think I can I can obviously take the bishop. I'm going to play rook c8 to put pressure on the pawn. Oh, I had knight f3 and queen d4. I'm so bad at chess. I do have knight g6 to hit the bishop as well. Knight f3 was just probably winning for me. Very poor. He goes queen f4. So now he actually blunders it again. This time, though, it's crushing, I think. This time it's just crushing. Because now check and I take, and he's actually going to lose the... Uh, he's going to lose on the diagonal, too. Is this the new... S what? Am I missing something? Isn't he just getting sauced? Thank you to Ken again for the three. Really Eureka for the prime. Thank you so much. Uh, this is just losing for my man. My man Benjamin is just... Oh, I queen g4. No, I guess this probably is right. Okay, Benjamin's definitely in a world of hurt here. Let's go knight f6 and rook e8. I mean, this diagonal is just... Uh, just it's just too much. Knight g4 is winning. Rook e8 is winning. Let's just go rook e8. Line up the maximum pressure on the diagonal. This bishop is awesome here. And I have knight g4. It's game over. I think a pan of flaming for the prime. Is there ever going to be a knock at Discord? There already is a knock at Discord. It is um, it is Pog University. Let's just take and take, and Queen H2, and it's game over. Let's play Queen H2 next move. Let's keep going. Play E4. Play Knight F3. Yeah, there, there. Uh, we have our dis Discord. It's uh, Pog University. Play d4. Let's play queen d4. I got a good position last time I did this against Benjamin, so I'll play it again. Maybe bishop g4. Okay. Let's take. Let's go here. Let's just castle. Let's go here. Knight d4 next move. Hit the bishop. I guess h4 is fine. Plays h6. Strange move. Um, I can obviously just take and go knight d4, I guess. Seems pretty reasonable. Hit the bishop. I have knight b3. I have f4 next move as well. I like my position here. I think it rains for the host with 11 viewers. Thank you so much, GM Reigns. Appreciate it. Goes rook c8. I mean, I know this should not be great for black. I'm just going to go... 
Is bishop d... I'm going to just go f4. Because b5, I can just take or go knight b3. I want to go g4, g5, the castles. My grades weren't good enough to get into pog u. I don't know about that, my man. Um, I have knight b3. I can also just go g4. I mean, if he takes, I just take, and I really shouldn't be that concerned, honestly. I mean, I just trade, and I'm better. Takes, I just take. I have g5 coming. He really needs to castle at some point. I also have e5, knight b3 to hit the queen and then the bishop as well. Okay, queen b6 is logical. I can play e5 here. g5, I don't want to play. Rookie 1 is fine. Don't love rookie one. I don't love knight b3. Maybe knight e... Let's just go knight e2 and guard and hit the pawn. They don't nair him for the... Um, uh, I have e5 now, I thought. I also have g5. Wait a second. This looks really bad for black somehow, but I can't... I don't see a way to exploit it, weirdly. Maybe I'll just move my king. I don't want to do that either. I don't really... I'm just going to go e5 and king b1, maybe. I'm just going to delay and see what his move is. Because I always have knight d4 to hit the rook at some moment. Okay, now I... I mean, I definitely hit the rook now. I thought I could take maybe knight e6 also and queen d6. <laughs> Thank you, man. Wait, I mean, this looks so bad for black, but let's just go g5 and attack. I mean, if he takes, he's getting sauce on h8, I thought. Takes? I mean, I can obviously just take, but I think check is right and takes. I don't see any tricks here. Everything is guarded. I mean, I need to get some lift for my king here. This looks really bad for black, but let me just... I can play queen e3. I want to go g6, basically. Okay, let's just go g6 and hit the pawn. I mean, this must be losing somehow. Like, queen f4, knight e4. This looks so bad for, for Benjamin. Knight e4 is crushing next move. Oh, did I just blunder g5? Oh, shoot. I did. Um... Oh, shoot. I did just blunt. Do I go queen g4? No. Just go here because I can check and take. Um, hmm. Just go here. I should have gone queen e3 right away. I do have knight e4 somewhere. Not yet, but soon. It's going to go up. I'm going to go here. Where's g4? Okay, let's just go like here. Maybe rook g5, hit the pawn. Knight e4 is a threat too. Yeah, rest in peace, DMX. Let's go here. Oh, I gave him that. That was bad. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I had knight e6 and mate. Wait, knight e6? Do I have knight b5? Wait. It's almost mate. Knight e go let's go here because i have check and mate maybe he has no trades takes was almost mate but he could just take and run the king back not quite mate but this wait what can take I take let's go here go here wait
Okay, we got the win. Let's keep going. Whew. Close game. We got the win. Two up. Thank you to Adrian TD for the two and Pedro Gonsalves for the five. Thank you so much to Fexidam for the prime and Anarum again for the prime. Let's go Bishop G7. Let's go C6, D5. Dirty flag. Yeah, that was that was a little bit dirty. But I probably should have been winning earlier in the game anyway. Let's take and go here. C5, Knight 6, of course. Okay, goes H4. I don't know if H5 is right, but I'm going to play it. Because I can still go C5 and Queen B6. Okay, let's go knight c6, queen b6 next move, of course. Actually, wait, my knight should be on f5. Why is my knight on f5 here? Kind of don't want to castle, but I do need to castle at some point. So let's castle, go rook c8, pressure on d4, pressure on e5 here. I do have f6 as well, but I think I should just try to trade rooks here, probably. Let's just trade. And I'm going to go knight b8, c6. Basically, reroute the knight. Pressure on d4. Might have been better put the other rook. So I have bishop f8. But I think my position is just fine here. And I saw that coming. Don't really want to move the knight. I'll just go here. If he takes, I just take with the pawn. Okay, bishop h6 is a logical move. I think I'm just going to move my queen here and take, probably. I gave him queen g5, though. Hmm. Let's go here and king g8. Knight g5, knight d4 looks okay. I don't want to move my king back. I think I'm just going to play... Hmm. Let's just go here. And knight e6, maybe? He'll probably check and play knight g5. He doesn't. Okay, let's go here and king g8. Because knight g5, I have knight d4 at the end. And I think I'm okay here. Thank you to Tobilius for the two months. Thank you so much. Tobilius, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Who was DMX? He was a rapper. This is rigged. I can't send messages in, in this mode. Sorry, man. Unfortunately, we're in this kind of zone right now. Um, I can play B5, B4. What do I want to do? I know I'm doing fine here, but it's not easy. I can also go F4. I want to kind of try to win. So F4 feels right. It's not right, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let me go knight here or maybe knight c6. Okay, let's go here. Knight g5 is probably a good move, but I hit the pawn. I have queen g4. Goes f3. That feels like a bad move somehow. Uh, I have f6. I think I'm just going to play rook e7, hit the pawn. I can't take right away because of rook c7. Can also go f6 at some moment. I'm gonna play f6 right now. Rook shouldn't be on e7. I probably should have done this right away. Okay, he goes rook c5. Let's just go b6, knight e7. I have rook c8 now. It's not great, but it should be playable here. Take with the knight. I can take with the pawn. It's still probably a draw, but such is life. I can also, I guess. Does go f5. I thought I could take here. Oh, did I just blunt? Oh, I just blundered mate. Oh, I just got careless. I just forgot there was a mate. That was careless of me. Yeah, I was just losing. Oh, Val. Oh, Val. Next game. It's queen e5. Yeah, it's just, just lost somehow. Just completely losing. I just blundered there. Kind of careless. Let's go here. Bishop b2. Let's go knight f3 next move. Thank you to Crossman for the 13. Appreciate it. Thank you. Probably I tried too hard to win that game by pushing f4. It wasn't really necessary, but I wanted to try to win versus just sitting there and probably drawing it. So let's go knight h4, h3, g4. Thank you to C sleep for the six months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Ma next Magnus Rapid Tour event. I don't know when it is exactly. Sag Elo, it's life. Whatever. Let's just castle here. I can play G5. I can play F4 here. Let's play F4. I don't know if it's right, but I think it's playable. 
So he goes h6. Doesn't seem right. Let's just take. I can play d4 here. I think I should actually. I think I, if I stop the center break at some point, I have e4. Maybe e4 is better. I don't know. Goes g5. I kind of expected that. Um, I think I can still just go like queen e2 maybe though. At some point, I'm probably going to take and play e4 here. He goes queen e7. Let's go c4. I kind of want to see is he castling this way or this way. So he's created weaknesses on both flanks here. I also have e4 at the right moment. Like if he goes knight f8, interesting. He's really begging me to play e4 at some moment. I have f5 here and rook f5. I can also trade, I guess. Don't really want to trade. I don't also want to go c5 necessarily. So I'm going to go queen d3 to cover knight, knight g6. No, Joe Rogan is Joe Rogan is um it's fine. <laughs> um I can play C5 here and E4 maybe. I know this is not great for black. I just I need to find the right method of constructing this position. I can also trade. I don't really want to take on G5. I can play rookie. No, rookie one's no good. Maybe I just go C5. I'm just gonna go C5 and go for a squeeze here. Just rookie one. Because if he castles queenside, I always have B4. And b5, and I, I think his pawn is really misplaced. Is it true that new clip channels created roast levy? No, that was not. Oh, wow, I have this and this. Ooh, this looks terrible for black now. Go here. I think I have knight f7 even. I mean, everything is really bad for black. Or black has no space, basically. I think I'm just going to go like... <clears throat> I can even play b4. Let's just go b4. Consolidate this chain here. No tricks with like bishop c5, knight c5, winning the knight. Takes. I take. I have rook a1 at some point. Okay, so he's really trying desperately to um, close the queen side, but I think it's just not going to be working here. I mean, I assume rook a1 is winning. I can also just go e4. And t I think I'm just going to... E4, knight g6. Yeah, this must be winning. Because if he takes, I take. He can't take back. And if he takes, I mean, this is hanging. That's hanging. I mean, this. I can probably storm him up with the pawns. I can also take. I mean, I also just have check. I think I just take. I have rook e8. Yeah, this is just awful. He's trying to hang in, but now I just take. And I mean, the whole house is really collapsing for black here. Okay, let's do something um i'll play this this one instead this is not completely precise but it's okay please queen c2 that's not the best i'm gonna do something weird i'm gonna play knight c6 and knight g6 basically uh-huh he wants to have no part of that okay now what am i doing okay let's think i'm just gonna go d6 and e5 maybe this probably isn't right but looks like a game at any rate Let's go e5 here. What is this opening? I don't... I mean, there's some kind of mix hybrid opening, I would say. c5, I just take and go c6. Plays h4. can play h5 if I want to. I don't really love it. Actually, I can just go g6, maybe. Let's just go here. And I think it's just a game now. It's just a game of chess. Let's go here, offer the trade of the light squares. Should be fine for me. I have rook c8. Maybe I should have castled first. He does have queen a4, but it looks okay. King h1. Okay, let's just take. I think I'm just going to go, like, castles. I think I'll play rook c8 and c6 here. Just try to chip the center immediately. If bishop g5, I always have h6. Let's go c6 and take with the rook. Hit the pawn on c4. Maybe queen c8. Um, and it's all just chess. I don't know that I love my position, but I think it's playable at any rate. Um, I don't want to go h6. I guess I'll go here. Oh, I, I almost just I almost just hung 95. I think I did hang 95, and he missed it. It was awful. Okay, let's just go. I guess let's just go here. I think he had 95. I mean, I, I don't know if he had 95, but he had some idea that involved 95 that was really, really good. 
He goes B3. I mean, I can play H5. I really don't want to, but I think I kind of have to at some point. Because if I don't do it, he's going to take and play H5, and he's going to attack me on the H file, and that's really, really not what I want. So let's go A6 here. Maybe B5 now is a threat. He'll probably play A4, like Rook C8 or Queen C8. Not wonderful, but it's playable. Oh, he goes there. Wait. Let's think about this for a second. Wait a second. B5 is begging to be played. Whatever. I'm just going to do it. I don't want to think. I can just take and take. Takes. I mean, queen a8 maybe? Just take. Oh, does he have just knight b5? Wait, no. Then I have d5 and tricks. Probably I should have thought longer before just blitzing that move out. But it's still probably okay. B5, so I take. Yeah, this actually is just terrible. Let's go queen a6 here. I have rook b8 maybe. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. At some point I need this move. I think I'll go here to hit the pawn. Um Oh, I should have gone rook c8. Why did I do that? Okay, let's go here. Pressure on the pawn. I guess I just go back. Got queen d5 or something. Let's go here, hold the hold this. Rook d5, just king g7. It's knight d2. Okay, logical. Um actually wait, I do have wait, I have d5 here. It's still bad, but now I free I free free up pieces. Let's go here. He goes there. I don't want to go bishop f6. This is bad though. I think I have to do this. It's a5. I just need to move fast and hope for some luck. Like a6. Let's go here. Pressure on the pawn. Goes rook d8. I feel like I've. It's my one last gasp to create some counterplay here in the middle of the board. Let's go. Here maybe? So we have B4. Okay, let's go here. It's my last chance to create something. Okay, that's a bad move. So now I get a four, and now there's counterplay. That was a very bad move by Benjamin. Because now I'm still losing here, but there's counterplay. Let's go like let's go here because I can take and mate him. Uh I've check. I wait. Wait a second. Let's think. Let's just go here. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I really just do that? I just need to take. But I have blocks. Or I have a block with rook h7. Very lucky I have this block. He has queen g8, rook e7. Okay, let's go check. Oh, what? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, what was that? Well, what was that? Wow, that was poor. Okay, I'm definitely not on my rhythm. I was winning. I was actually winning there, I think, at the end, and I just hung my queen. Wow. Let's go queen e1. I can't believe that I just did that. That was really, really bad. Okay, let's go queen h4 and take with a pawn. I can't believe I played queen h queen d1. That's insane. Let's go here. That's just really insane. Hmm. Probably I should have gone rook g7. I would have had chances. Okay, but I'm still probably okay here in this game. Just d4, knight d4 next move. Okay, let's open up the center. This should be favorable because he has weak pawns. Let's go here. Pretty standard. I can take and play bishop d4. I also have a bishop c6, bishop b6 somewhere. I also have f5 here. I don't really want to make a mistake in this one. So let's see, f5. Let's just go f5 takes and takes that knight d5 knight f6 at the right moment. Should be good. Hmm. I mean, f6 looks obviously right here, so I'm going to play it. Now, if I take and go queen, I mean, I also have queen h4 here. Let's go queen h4. 
Can move the knight, play bishop h6. Maybe I have knight f3, knight g5 even. Should be winning. Alireza said he thinks I'm better than Magnus. I, I've said this before, and this isn't even Magnus, but, like, there's style contrasts that make no sense sometimes. It's like, you know, for example, Alireza does really well against me, but against Dania, he struggles at times. And the, yet, like, when I play Dania, I do really well against Dania. So it, it's just very, it's very, very weird sometimes how it works. It's just stylistic things, I think. Um, okay, Bishop h6 and Knight f3 looks very good. Let me make sure this isn't bad. Knight g5, yeah, just knight, knight g5 and takes, and this must be win, must be winning, I would assume. It's not winning, I, oh, did I just blunder again? I just blundered a piece, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, did I, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, okay, let's go check in here. I think I'm threatening mate with the lol lolly checkmate here. I don't think you can actually avoid, I'm lucky, I blundered, but I blundered in a way where I'm not just losing. Because e5, knight d5, and he can't stop this one either. Hard to believe that this isn't just losing for black. Maybe rook f4. Rook f4 is probably better because I had a forced checkmate. Yeah, he has e5, and somehow I don't have a forced mate here. Go here, maybe c3. It's 96. I thought I could mate now. Don't I have to checkmate with rook f3? I don't think he can stop it. Knight f4, I have bishop h. I have bishop h8 and mate. He can't move a knight. I'm threatening mate with rook h3. This should be winning. Okay, he does go knight f4. I thought I could just take and play bishop h8. Let me make sure. Takes bishop h8, and there's just no way to stop the checkmate. Thank you to Bantha for 22 months. Thank you to HP Ali for the four FTX Black Star for the Prime. Thank you so much. Let's just go here and it's just checkmate. It's just one move. Okay, better, but I'm still I'm still bleeding points so far. Need to get a shriek going. Let's try to win like four or five in a row. Okay, I'm gonna play. I know D5 is a move here. I don't want to play it. So let's go Knight C6. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the same line, even though it didn't work out well last time. I guess I'll go c6. I'm going to play something a little bit different. Maybe c6, maybe c5. We'll see. What, what He's thinking, of, okay, I'm going to play c6 here. I don't really believe in this for white somehow. I just, I, it feels too weird. Maybe it's just fine for white, but it seems a little bit off. Okay, I'm going to take with a knight. Yeah, let's just take up knight d4. Knight b4 also. Looks quite reasonable. Hmm. Do I go knight d4 or not? It's reasonable. I think I'm just going to play h6 and takes maybe. Oh, he doesn't bishop. No, he'll. Oh, he doesn't take. Wow. Maybe I just go rook e8 here. I want to go knight d4 100% just to attack. Wow, so he's begging me to play knight d4 here. I mean, I can't resist. He's, oh, he's got queen d3, though. No, then I just take, take, and f5. No, this this can't be good. This can't. I think this is just terrible for white. Hey, yellow guy for the prime. Thank you so much, yellow guy. I don't read chat these days as often as I usually do. Uh, I, I do, but, like, I'm playing badly right now. So, like, if I'm not playing well, I'm going to be reading chat a lot less as well. Everything seems dubious. Yeah, I know. That's all chess is. It's a dubious game. <laughs> the bet is for the... Okay. Well, first of all, I can take on... Let me think about which... Does the order matter here? I don't think it does, but I'm just going to take takes. I have a 5. And I'm 95. I just drop back. I don't think I'm missing anything here. Am I? Okay. I mean, this is obviously... Let's just go F4. Let's... let's Let's uh let's let's bring this game home pretty nicely. Let's go e4. Let's 
play d4 queen d4 let's go here we can just take a bishop g5 this castle play I'm gonna play um I'm gonna play a different line here I'm gonna play this one this isn't the same line So he goes queen a5 anyway I'm gonna play this old line I remember there's a Greek GM that I that I used to I recall he played tournament hungry and he always played the setup and I thought it was very weird um how he got this very good position just like g4 knight d4 f3 g4 and it was very hard to play for black like they go b5 but you can just take and go knight e2 even is it g4 here I think it was g4 here this b5 I think h4 is fine so I'm just going to take and go g5. Knight e2 looks reasonable. I just want to rotate my knight to g3 maybe. Goes b4. I can obviously take and play knight d4. So I take or not is also a question. I also have h5 as a move. I can take and play knight d4 and h5. I can also take and go. I can also just play h5 here maybe. Doesn't look right. Um, I'm gonna play it anyway I want to see what Benjamin's response is here because h6 is a big problem if he takes e4 I just take he goes Bishop a8 interesting just go h6 now I can move my Knights around I can also take I can also play Knight b3 actually maybe this isn't so wonderful for me let's go I'm gonna go here maybe Knight of I'm gonna look to sack my Knight like rook g1 Knight of five and try to play Daniel style and just attack here on the King side I don't know if it works but it looks like an idea and d5 I always have e5 here and he pushes I sack think of jibs for the five months thank you so much jibs 427 thank you so much okay he goes a5 I mean he, I really want to sack somehow maybe rook g1 don't have queen f4 takes isn't quite right I guess I'll go here and just c3 or c4 If d5 I have e5 e5 I sack of course if knight moves I trade I think I'm gonna look to play c4 next move and just open up the c file and attack because he's got this pin is very annoying for black to deal with okay let's just go c4 if he takes I take with the rook I go rook c1 I take with the queen or the rook is also an interesting question here I just take with the rook it's queen b6 I have rook c1 here I thought oh wait he wants some 94 nonsense oh he, he has tricks here let's go let's go here and hit the queen he has tricks he definitely has tricks so I need to be careful I can play king a1 I can also go no I think I just go here because a3 I just take if d5 I have e5 if e5 I have knight f5 I still have knight c6 lurking as well it's not clear cut what's going on okay he goes queen a6 I don't know what that threatens so I'm just gonna go here I mean I guess I mean he's okay I'm gonna go g5 here maybe bishop g5 is better but okay I can play knight c6 and trade I can also go f4 I think this must be right let's take I think I'm gonna play like uh a3 doesn't look right rook c2 maybe looks just fine bring the rook back I think I just go f4 hit the knight no knight c4 because I take knight d3 just rook d1 knight b4 rook c3 actually wait rook c3 has got d5 just go that's fine let's go d5 here I thought I had like e5 or something maybe I just go bishop d4 so I can take and go knight f6 now if I get bishop f6 it's very dangerous too I thought I had bishop f6 I also have a3 I think bishop f6 is right let's go a3 kick that knight out of there I can just take with a bishop I'm moving too slowly I just realized okay let's take That's a great move by or yeah it's a great move let's go here it's king f7 
let's go here so I have check and g6 maybe I think this is maybe winning for me okay I think I just keep sacking let's go here I think I'm just winning yeah I'm just winning here he's got nothing checkmate get the win I'm gonna keep playing the same line even though I know this is this is absolutely terrible it's been working so I'll keep doing it that was a really nice game though I'm really happy with my play of that game um let's play c6 maybe g6 bishop g7 same thing just go here castle the king out of the middle I have rook c8 I guess I don't know if it's right but it looks reasonable okay now we're both castled pretty standard stuff here it looks completely reasonable do I still think about my match against Ali Resin no the only thing that I might go back and look at is what is like how much the mouse maybe affected my time in, in like two of those middle games um but overall no I, I I mean he played well he played well it just anytime you play a 30 minute match it can go either way and um I had a 30 minute match against him before where I was behind I think by a big margin two years ago and I found a way to win that one um but I always knew in 30 minute with only 30 minutes you know there's some slight thing goes wrong and it's you know it's really tricky let's go here and take and take um don't really want to play a6 but I will play it let's go I have b5 maybe and takes in 94 or some trick when do I next play over the board um probably August I think there's probably gonna be an event in St. Louis if I'm not mistaken I don't know if it's good but again I'm just gonna play it no actually my match against Ali Reza was weird because we had many more games than any other match like if you look at the matches that happened it was 15 to 16 games and we played 18 games like it was very weird because all the other matches were 15 to 16 and so we got a much higher volume of games and which I thought was interesting I could have taken and just taken two pieces but I don't really want to do that it was knight d5 okay so I take he takes I'm knight c5 here I can obviously trade um umpity dumpity dumpity do do I want to trade or not to trade I think I do not want to trade let's go here and take and I probably blundered bishop g4 but whatever I still have knight f6 yeah we, we got in a really high volume of games which I just I thought that was interesting um I it doesn't really mean anything in general but I just I thought it was interesting that we had a we, we had a much higher volume of games would I play a longer match yeah I think I said it like I felt that um the I felt 30 minutes like anything goes in 30 minutes you really never know um this pawn is dangerous though or it should be dangerous I feel like I should have something let's go here maybe bishop d4 maybe knight c5 I mean this feels really good for me this pawn is very dangerous very close to the end of the board here would I play Magnus if you want to play on Lee chess I don't play on Lee chess um also it would take quite a while for me to get used to this concept of like non-stop uh non-stop premiums where you lose no time because then I, then I would have to shift the, the format of how I play um wait he's really taking I mean this looks this looks insane maybe I'm crazy but this pawn is two squares from the end of the board I think he's just losing here according to you who's a better speed player Nihal or Pragnananta definitely Nihal Nihal is um he's definitely a better player right now okay so wait first of all I can take and check and go c2 and I think I just win the game his b4 a queen I think I just win don't I wee 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 this piggy goes all the way to the end of the board and makes a queen 
it's just game over. Okay, that's a good game. Very, very good game. We got the dub, um, and we're back to 3190. I gained two points. 7-2, pretty good score. Not great, but it's still good.